Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is slip the cane that way. So the back blade is going over there and the top blade is going over there. And then put it on here. And I like these to be 72 millimeters long, just like that. And then we're going to start about that far down with the string. And you put the reed, if you're going to do this the left handed way, you put the reed underneath the string and do one wrap, two wraps, and pull it tight. And now we're going to check this side versus that side, and they're both closing. If one of them is not closing quite enough, you can release some tension and take your finger and press to move the cane and then tighten it again just to make sure both sides are cleaning equally. And then we're going to look down this way and check it for straightness. I need to, you can see it's not quite straight. So I'm just going to straighten it. Ah, that's much more straight. And now we're going to check to make sure that we're still 72 millimeters long, which we are. And we're going to go up three more turns. One, two, three. So we've done a total of five turns. Two before and then three after. And we want that string to go up to 47. And right now we're at we're at 47, but I want to show you that if you turn it this way, you can make your string go up just a little bit higher. And if your string is too high, you can just turn it this way and make the string go a little bit lower. So you want it to go up to 47. Right there. So to cross over, you want to lock this string against that string and cross over and go down. one wrap at a time, all the way. And then tie some knots at the bottom. And then just to be extra safe, you tie some more knots. I like to do four. And then That's it. That looks pretty bad. I don't usually do this left-handed, but what looks good is the crossover is nice and clean. So even though I made some lumps on here, and then 
The next thing to do is just test to see if it uh, if it leaks or anything like that.